Hey guys and gals, it's uh, Jim here, and uh, I decided to do this video. Um, I'm building a few more um, model ship uh, uh, naval, U.S. naval vessels and stuff like that. Uh, I got a couple uh, 350th scale um, Los Angeles class submarines, two different versions, and that their Hobby Boss uh, kits, very inexpensive, uh, but very nicely detailed. Um, I mean, there's not a lot of detail on these type of submarines like there are in some of the World War II and everything, but, uh, they're, uh, as far as the type of submarines, they're, uh, very, very nicely detailed and stuff like that. Um, and I got, a, a, a one or two ships that I'm working on. Um, this is a, a Trumpeter, 350th scale, early Burke, uh, class destroyer, guided missile destroyer and stuff. And, um, been working on, uh, getting this one all painted up too. Um, I got the, uh, on the upper half, the, uh, gray, I use the, uh, Tamiya Sky Gray acrylic, and, uh, the, uh, black boot stripe is, uh, just flat black, and, um, the bottom half of the hull is, um, what I, um, decided to do this video for, um, as far, and also including the submarines. I got the upper half, so those painted, uh, flat black. Uh, yesterday I painted the three, uh, the ship and the two submarines, the, uh, the hull red color. Uh, the last time I did a couple ship models of, uh, a couple months back when I did the Missouri and the Enterprise, the two Academy kits, I used, uh, to me a flat red and to me a hull red, um, a little bit of hull red mixed into the flat red to give it the, like the, more like the deeper blood red color, not the bright fire engine red. Um, these are also a deeper red, a blood red color. They're not as bright in person as they are in the video. The camera does tend to uh, brighten things up and uh, really make things pop. But um, this time around, basically what I, what I use is uh, this 50 cent bottle of uh, Apple Barrel. Uh, matte, uh, matte acrylic paint, and it's called Flamenco Red. It's, uh, it's actually a darker, more like a blood red color. It's not a bright fire engine red and everything, and, um, it's actually in person. It's, uh, more like, um, like a, a pale burgundy, uh, you know, uh, side of the red spectrum and everything and all that, but, um, reason I, um, uh, I've been, for the last couple of years, I've been using the Tamiya acrylics because Model Master, they're not making their, um, uh, all their different, um, uh, f uh, flat, uh, um, paints no more and stuff. The Model Master brand into big, uh, jars and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of the military colors, the different, uh, colors for sci-fi ships. So I switched over to Tamiya, but I decided on this one, I didn't want to go through the trouble of having ordered just a bottle of flat red paint. I got a bottle of hall red, which is like almost like a, a dark brown color. Um, I wasn't going to order a bottle. I wasn't going to drive an hour to my nearest, uh, hobby shop, um, to pick up a bottle so uh i figured well i'm gonna try some apple barrel when i was in the walmart i went through their uh craft department and stuff and um i've used the apple barrel before and when i did the uh, one 200 scale uh space shuttle a few couple years back um and it worked out pretty good so um this time i decided to go to route with the apple barrel again and basically since i've been using to me acrylics I don't buy the Tamiya paint thinner or nothing like that. I've been using the Walmart brand isopropyl alcohol, the 91% grade, so it's only got like 9% water in it. Works real well. I mix the paint about about a 40% paint to 60% alcohol ratio, and it works out real fine, goes down real smooth and all that. Uh, this time around, I decided to try the 70% isopropyl alcohol so it's basically got 70 percent alcohol 30 percent water <clears throat> the difference i found between the two i mixed both of them the same uh ratios like i uh, described the difference between the two to 90 percent dries a lot quicker this kind of this takes uh quite a few minutes longer to dry and everything so you got to let it sit and wait between coats for this one you can almost do a second coat within a matter of a minute or two. So um, that's the only difference, but they work out real nice. I get a nice smooth finish. You know, I give it several light coats till I get it built up and everything's covered on, uh, you know, all the primer is covered and everything like that. Um, it still picks out. You can see the, the detail and everything like that. So um, 
Yeah, it worked out real good. I haven't removed none of the masking tape from the submarines and everything. So, um, yeah, and I did the same thing, used the same thing on the, uh, the hull for the, um, uh, Arleigh Burke destroyer and all that. So, it, uh, came out real nice and all that. I'm happy the way it worked out. So, uh, I may be, uh, switching over and using the, uh, craft paints a lot more often, you know, depending on what colors I need. Because there's, uh, certain colors that aren't available in, uh, different hobby brands and stuff like that. So, there's a wide range of colors available in the, um in the uh apple barrel and other brands of craft paints and everything i know another one a lot of guys use is the folk art that's a little bit more expensive maybe two bucks a bottle but i figured for 50 cents a bottle you know i'm gonna try it out and everything so um i haven't given these a uh, flat coat clear clear coat or anything like that yet that will darken the paint up somewhat too i figured i'm gonna let this uh so i don't know how the craft paint will react uh so i'm gonna let it sit for a couple of days and really cure nice and good and um then i'll give it the flat coat remove the masking tape do the decaling on the submarines i still got a lot of work to do um i got most of the small parts on the uh destroyer uh assembled in place and everything there's just a few add-ons and then i got a lot of photo etch railing and stuff to do um in including the mast and everything so um but yeah i thought i'd share this uh video which and got and stuff and let you guys know my uh my little experience with the um apple barrel paints and all that and um i've been using like i said i've been using this isopropyl hull um alcohol with my tamiya um acrylics and never had any issues with it i first started using it a couple years ago when i um did the big 350 at klingon katinga and everything all the different shades of greens and everything and um it worked out great and actually if you read the tamiya back at the tamiya bottle this is only 99 cents for 16 ounces you can get a 32 ounce one for a buck 99 which I do have two bigger bottles and I just use them to refill these smaller ones because these are easier to handle but um it works out great and if you read the back of the Tamiya thinner it's basically the same thing as what you get in uh, isopropyl alcohol uh no difference and you're paying a lot more for a lot less so um anyway it's a way to cut some corners especially in this day and age with the prices that we got going on and stuff but um things worked really well so I thought I'd share this with you, and that's what I got going on right now. That's why I haven't been posting many videos. I'm just rushing through these. I got another ship up here that I'm working on. It's a, um, this is an Academy, uh, the Oliver Hazard Perry, um, uh, frigate and everything. And all in, uh, basically all I got painted on here is, is um, the black, uh, bootstripe and everything like that. So, um, I still got to paint, uh, prime everything else up above the tape and uh then i gotta prime the hull and uh, do the red on there so but um yeah i'm getting into building a few model ships before i get into some more sci-fi stuff and things like that so um thought i'd share that with you so till the next time i'd like to thank all my subscribers thanks to all my new subscribers thanks for all the great comments you guys have been leaving me thanks for hitting the like button hope everybody's doing well out there happy modeling have fun and um keep yourself busy and stuff it keeps you out from going and spending money um and we'll talk to you soon in another video till the next time take care bye